After finding this super realistic figure in a Florida airport, I wanted to see where its origins came from and if there are any more of them. This all started back when I was a kid and every year me and my family would go to Florida and I'd usually come face to face with this very bizarre hyper realistic figure in the lobby of the Fort Lauderdale International Airport when I'd be waiting for my bags in the bagging area. I thought it was some sort of wax figure that the airport had just put there for some reason and of course I thought it was a real person when I was a little kid. Just like one of those street performers that don't move at all like the ones that just stand there plus when you look right at it, it's basically staring into your soul like Anyways, I decided to research and see if there are any more of these things, since this first one really creeped me out, and I thought maybe Florida has a couple more of these things. I mean, it's Florida after all, like, they got some weird stuff going on there. So after typing realistic wax figure in Florida airport into Google, I found out that there's actually two more of these things. This wasn't the only one. There was another one in Orlando's National Airport and another one in Miami's National Airport and they all had a super weird, hyper-realistic style to it. Like the airport had just randomly taken out some tourists and like drugged them and just left them there to sit in some display case for the rest of their lives. Surely enough, all three sculptures had the same creator, a guy named Dwayne Hansen, who was actually from Minnesota but lived most of his life in southern Florida, which made sense considering all of his works in the national airports were in southern Florida. The ones that were in the airports, however, were made in the 1980s, which kind of explains their retro-looking style. The one in the Fort Lauderdale International Airport, the one that I saw as a kid, was actually called Vendor with a Walkman. The one in Orlando's International Airport was called The Traveler, and the one in Miami's International Airport was called Football Player. Also, these things weren't actually wax figures, they were made using polyester and fiberglass and a crap ton of very precise painting, of course, to make these things look super real. And that basically sums up my findings. I mean, sure enough, these are all in Florida, because I don't think any other state is sane enough to put these creepy looking things in their airport and scare the hell out of all their tourists. But yeah, you know, that's Florida for you. Jokes aside, I think these things are pretty cool. I mean, this guy's made a bunch of other stuff for museums. He majored in art and everything. And yeah, his creations are pretty cool and also very creepy.